What's up everybody, happy Friday, welcome back to the FOMO factory, you are about to get wrecked. <laughs> Why? Well, altcoins are about to get wrecked. Watch out, it's no clickbait, I think we are in deep trouble. At least it depends on how prepared you are, of course. If you are too overexposed into altcoins, you might want to consider, reconsider your position. If you are not, and if you are prepared, and if you are patient, you can get a great opportunity out of this. Um, let me explain, I try to make this very short, but I think this is super important. So welcome to the FOMO Factory, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I bring to you this news, you know, everything, every single day bear market no bear market we are all going to make it but in the first place we have to survive what's going on right now and what's going on right now is not very nice let me show you if we pull up trading view right here let me um show you bitcoin first all right so bitcoin now at the moment of recording um shooting this video four hours before it comes out i hope you already can see the uh, hd version um but Bitcoin at the moment of recording, you know, it, 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 it's not like it's going like very bad. It's not going great as well. You know, it, it, it's just sitting around this 19K, could go to 18 and a half. In my opinion, that's where we can go and what we should hold, right? We could have a fake out, of course, but you know, this is the most important level. Why? Well, th that's the level that we have been holding on since June, right? Since we came down basically uh from november up till where we are right now we, we landed here in june that was the bottom for now right and we have been in here for a long time and of course there is some good news because if we pull up the volume uh you can see right here that every time we are really getting to these lows of this level you see the volume popping up here as well we go to these lows the volume finally starts popping up low volume starts popping up although now at this particular moment um a little more concerned because we are approaching this level now as well but there is there's no volume right there, at least not on Bitfinex, that's why I'm checking, but this is a pretty good indicator. Um, but that's not looking that great. What I do want to say, what is also not looking that great, is the Bitcoin dominance. I showed you a couple of weeks before that uh, we were here, right? And I said like, yeah, there is a chance that we break to the downside. And for the people that have actually no idea, you know, the higher the Bitcoin dominance, the more money is sitting into Bitcoin instead of altcoins, right? And especially if Bitcoin goes sideways or down, then altcoins are getting absolutely destroyed when the Bitcoin dominance goes up. That's what we are seeing right now, right? We again bounced off of this level and now it's going up. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we go, you know, around this level again. And this is not great. This is not, not, not great because it's not that Bitcoin is going up while we are doing this, right? In that case, altcoins might hold up and even might go up as well. For now, Bitcoin stays around the same level while the Bitcoin dominance is going up. And you'll notice that today is probably a kind of red day in your portfolio. You know, some people are lucky in holding some coins that, you know, do pop. But overall, altcoins are coming down. Um, you can see we touched the bottom around the 9th of September and we are now sitting, uh, it's now the 21st. So 9th of September till the 21st of October. Let's go to, I don't know, Solana is always a great example, right? So 9th of September is here right we were here and now we are here right so this is just you know one example i don't know if every altcoin looks like this but the chart is kind of the same right so if we go to the 9th of september again right this is where we were and solana for example already came down 23 percent from that level and you know we can and that's a high cap right another high cap avax 9th of september we were here, came down 29% also. So high cap altcoins are already coming down like 30%, right? While the Bitcoin dominance went up 8%. Right, so to round it up, you can, for now, every kind of 10% that the altcoin dominance goes up, right 
The high cap altcoins go down 30%, let alone the low caps. These are getting destroyed, right? What happens if we, what's very likely, go back here? It's another 15%. This is basically double from what we have seen so far, right? Could this mean that the high caps go down another 60%? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me unless Bitcoin decides to, you know, also, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know even know if I should say that. I don't want to get my hopes up right here because it's just not looking so good. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Watch out. And yes, I'm buying altcoins. I'm slowly dollar costing, slowly dollar costing, right? These are two very important words you should consider to listen to, right? Um, definitely not putting a lot of money into right now definitely not because in the long run yes i think these quality altcoins will get back to where they were before and we will be okay even if you buy here but what if what if solana for example just comes down another 60 percent where would it take it it would take solana at around 11 dollars you know right around this support area could definitely be the case could also be that solana bounces here but these are prices that if you buy that right now you know to 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 keep it positive right solana it came from let me put it on lock that has some better overview in this case solana came from 260 dollars right so it, let's say you buy solana right now and it goes back to its all-time high which i believe it could it's a 9x Okay, so you can make a 9x over the long run. That's that's very decent money, right? But if you choose to wait patiently and not rush, and you get the chance to buy it at $11, and you go back to the all-time high, it's 22x. What would you rather have, right? And in the meantime, yeah, if you have too much money sitting into altcoins, then there is a chance that you get a short-term uh, wreck, wreckage. Wreck, <laughs> how do you say that? I don't know. That you are getting wrecked short-term, right? And like I said, I just talked about two like layer ones, high cap layer ones, relatively safe projects, right? I'm not even talking about um, the medium risk, like I don't know, I don't know what what's right, like medium risk. Traded Joe, for example, 9th of September until today, right? What happened with a you know medium risk thing? So the 9th of September, we were. Well, I think this is not even that bad of an example, by the way. This one did pretty well. 9th of September, we were here, right, and took us here. Okay, so this one did pretty good, 22%. So this is not proving my point. But the point is that low caps overall, you know, have way more, as there's less liquidity, right? They go down way harder and go up way harder as well, by the way. But then the, you know, the high caps. I think the dominance is going to get us wrecked, um, you know, and going to give us a great opportunity because this is the area where it's been in since... Two years now? April 21. One and a half years, right? That's what the Bitcoin dominance does. Will it ever, uh, to look at the bright side of life, will it ever go back here or here? No. Hell no. Hell no. Especially not here, right? That's almost everything into Bitcoin. Back then it was this high because there weren't that many altcoins, of course. Here as well, there weren't that many altcoins. But then again, in 2021, there were quite a lot of altcoins, right? So if we go to the beginning, uh, coin market cap history, that's something you could check. I think we can check it like this and we go to the beginning of 2021. Um, let's say the total beginning, right? Can we see how much altcoins there were back then? Can we see that? Can we see that? I don't think we can see it that easy. Nah, there were already quite a lot. I don't know how much there were already listed on Coin Market Cap, so I can tell you. But there were less than what they are right now. That's the point, right? 
although there weren't that much less because you know yeah i know in 2021 bull run that's where the shit coin season started and the meme coins and every like these coins they're dead right now anyway so it doesn't really matter although i still don't think that the bitcoin dominance will go up here again that's just what i don't see happen as there are not that many alt uh, as there are now more altcoins right and people also have more faith in altcoins people start to understand crypto but they also start to understand these you know individual crypto projects that they see come through um i feel like a lot more people are educated especially in this bear market they feel like retail is also now more about okay maybe we shouldn't panic sell maybe we should just you know be tactic be in the right altcoins right and i don't think this is that bad but what i can see happen is the altcoin dominance going back to around 50 percent maybe even around 60 percent right <laughs> if that happens then we are screwed uh unless right bitcoin goes up like crazy so that unless this would happen if this happens in the bull run it's okay and if in the same bull run this happens again this is alt season right this is alt season this was in th this was an alt season this was a complete alt season right but if now in the bear market this happens like i said only this was a 30 percent drop for big high caps again if this happens it will be a way bigger drop and it's not unthinkable to me that if you look at this this you know this range that it's been in since one and a half year up down up down up down up down up is that so crazy to think i don't think so right so the only thing that could save us right now from getting wrecked in altcoins is that bitcoin goes up as well so either we have a big relief rally or altcoins are going to get destroyed. That's what I see happen right now. Because to be completely honest, look, it's 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 not necessarily sitting at a level that I think like, okay, here's what's going to get rejected, right? That was here. Here. We are long past that level. We had some struggles there, but we broke days ago, right? And now we're here. I can see it really at least to, to this level right here. Here. 44 percent give or take but still it could definitely be possible so watch out that's all i wanted to say i don't want you to get wrecked i i, I don't like getting wrecked and i understand that you don't like that as well i'm not saying this is going to happen but it looks like it's very likely to happen in my opinion right the dxy starts to move up again as well right that's not what we want to see i think the stocks are going down stocks are going down as well so the whole market is taking a massive hit right now and the least liquid uh assets are going to take the biggest hit and these are the altcoins right so therefore we're doing this crypto portfolio giveaway challenge um i'm not heavily dollar costing into that yet because i really think that we have a lot more pain to come um so just keep that in mind i just wanted to update you that on that very quickly and that's kind of it for now watch out check out this chart keep it in your eye holes <laughs> and try to make the most out of it because to end it positive it could be an opportunity again if you are prepared that's it for now guys stay safe see you soon bye